Hello, Gages Lake. Hello, everyone. We are back in the office, and I hope that you're having a great Wednesday. Today's Wednesday, August the 10th. Uh, it's Terry Barker's birthday. Ha, huh? he is uh, a little older than me, but happy birthday, Terry. Um, anyway, today we are back in the office, um, and we're here. This is not pre-recorded. Um, uh, we were excited to see many of you uh, Sunday uh, at the church picnic, and we are looking forward to being back in the church services this coming Sunday um, as we... Uh, return to Exodus. It's been, uh, we had a month off and I'm so thankful for the men who uh, uh, shared uh, over the last several weeks. And I hope that uh, while they were little stories in the Bible, they produce a big impact and they uh, are important parts of our lives. And so uh, I'm thankful for those who uh, graciously shared and I'm looking forward to continuing to working with several of them as we move into the fall and uh, giving them opportunities to speak as well um, as we continue. Uh, we had a great trip. Uh, my wife and I, family, uh, the 19 hours toward Maine, and we got there and I got to spend uh, a good week or so, a little more than a week, with my brother and his wife and kids. And my other brother came up from North Carolina with his wife and kids. All in all, it was 19 of us in one house and yeah I think that's all I need to say about that because wow there's a lot of people and uh, but we had a great time um, laughing crying and just spending some great time together uh, as a family and I always uh, am so thankful to have brothers and have a family that serves the Lord and and uh, that when we get together it's like we haven't even been apart um, uh, the joys of, of family connections in that way. Uh, and then we left there and we went to Boston and we were there for two days. And uh, for some reason, Cheyenne was living in the 1700s at that point. Um, total history. I think she threw some tea into the Boston Harbor. I don't know. Um, and we went to Paul Revere's house and we saw the old North Church and uh, we saw uh, the USS Constitution, which was the frigate ship that was commissioned in the 1700s. It's so uh, amazing history. Uh, and then, of course, we hit all of the northeast states as we were driving through. And so uh, I got to see Rhode Island for the first time. Never, you know, what kind of state is Rhode Island? It's just really small. But it was fun. Uh, and so we had a great, great trip. And I'm so thankful to be able to take that uh, in this season of our family, in this season of life. It's, uh, it, was, it was an important time for my brothers and I to get together. Uh, and uh, we're so thankful that that you helped make that make that happen uh, but now we're back and we're looking forward to the fall and we're looking forward to uh, the new things coming and so this coming not this Sunday the 14th but the next Sunday the 21st is our vision Sunday and I'm laying out the details for that now as we uh, look ahead to what is our new uh, model going to look like what is our new um, uh, church going to, you know, things that we're going to look at in the fall, different ministries starting up, some Bible studies, some some fun uh, activities. And so, uh, so come be a part of that the 21st as we uh, kind of lay out the, the idea of a vision of what we have uh, for the fall. Doesn't mean don't come this Sunday though, because we're back and let's join in together. We're returning to Exodus and it's going to be a great time. Um, we've gotten out of Egypt and so now what, you know? So uh, I'm looking forward to resuming back uh, in the book of Exodus. Uh, as, as we are, um, as we are living, as we are uh, going through this world, like, well, I'll use an example. When we traveled out to Maine, we stopped at Niagara Falls. And I don't know if you've ever been to Niagara Falls, uh, Niagara Falls is breathtaking. Uh, it's, 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 it's amazing. And I know it's not even like the highest falls or the biggest falls in the world, uh, but it's close to us and we can actually go see it. Um, while we were there, we, we did the Maid of the Mist tour where you get on the boat and they take you over to the falls and basically you get wet. And uh, it was fascinating just to see how much power from water there is and and how much water 
There was. They they told us it was like six hundred thousand gallons of water every second pouring over these these falls, and it's like that is ridiculous amount. And um, and of course, all this stuff was posted about. And you can read online. You can read articles and things about how that you don't want to be above the fall. You don't want to fall in up there because there's you know you're going to go over. Uh, and there's just the sheer power of water. But down in the bottom is just pouring over the top it was almost like you're in another world like you're in a different place um uh but just to to see that to see the power of that um and the beauty of that it was it was it, it it was just this like reminder to me of how amazing how uh incredibly creative our god is and like i'm looking at this waterfall going this is simply because, like, like from a scientific standpoint, is simply because Lake Erie is up here, and Lake Ontario is down here, and so water over here, it flows this way, and then it reaches a point where instead of kind of going, it just falls off this little cliff thing, and then it goes down the river to Lake Ontario, and then it continues, and it's like, well, you know, that's just science. It's going to go to the low point, and that's what happens. But I see this more in the sense of of God created God uh, God designed things so that we would be um, that we as followers of him would see him like we see God in in different things for example uh, those of you that follow science and, and stuff know that uh, not too long ago they released a telescope uh, called the James Webb uh, Space Telescope uh, the Hubble's been up there for, oh goodness, 30 years, uh, and the, the James Webb is kind of designed to replace him. It's like a deep space telescope type, uh, and it's been taking, sending pictures back. Um, and some of them got released, uh, I believe, about a month ago. Uh, this one, the, I'll show you a couple of the pictures. The first one here is uh, known as the Carina Nebula, and it's, it's um, fascinating to me because it, it looks like it looks like a space beach water kind of thing, like from the sky. But it's this nebula of gas and uh, clouds. And uh, the the scientists talk about that this is a uh, this is a young star forming region. So here is where stars form. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's just beautiful. It looks like mountains or or you know some sort of night sky type. Thing. And then the other one that I wanted to show you was this one. Uh, this one is the deepest and sharpest image of the universe. Like this, this picture here is farther than any other place we've seen so far uh, in science. And it's called the Deep Field. And this is a galaxy cluster, uh, thousands of galaxies, including... The, the faintest objects that have ever been observed by mankind here in this picture. Um, the, the bright, the star-looking ones that have the like rays of light coming from, those are actually stars. The ones behind, that, those are close. The ones behind them, the, the lines, the blurs, there's a few spirals you can see, uh, those are actually galaxies. And uh, according to the, the scientists, that this space covers if you took a grain of rice and held it up at an arm's length from you and looked at the sky that grain of rice is where you would see all of this like it's okay when you read this like when you when you see this you think whoa two things probably one the universe is massive or like it's infinite, like we just can't even fathom it. Two, you probably think we are very, very small. Like there is not a lot here. <laughs> like we are tiny little people in this massive universe. For the Christian, for the believer, what does this do? This, well, the psalmist said, Psalms 19 verse one, the heavens declare the glory of God. Like this, these images, they've, these things have been there long before the telescope was ever even invented and yet God is just showing himself in amazing ways I said I was sitting in Niagara Falls and I could just I could see God I could feel the the majesty of God 
here the space images should show us the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim his handiwork. Day after day pours out speech and night to night reveals knowledge. Do we serve an amazing God? Like it's so, he's so uh, un, indescribable is what the song says. Um, and, and to know that as vast as the universe is, as vast as he is, and as vast as, as all of that is, and as non-vast as we are, as small, minute as we are, God cares about us. God cares about you individually. He cares. He knows the number of hairs on your head. He knows each decision that you're going to make. He loves you. He sent his son to die for you. Like, this is an amazing God. This is a God that, that we don't deserve but yet we get to worship. And so as we continue to meet together as in this world, there's a lot of, listen, man left to himself on this world, there's a lot of uncertainty, there's a lot of chaos. You know, we have elections coming up and inflation and immigration and all the other Asians. And and then we, we have to deal with, you know, what's Russia gonna do? What's China gonna do? What's this, gonna, what's North Korea gonna do? And all that, like there's just a lot of uncertainty and you read news articles and all you hear is fear, 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 fear. We don't know, we don't know, we don't know. And left to ourselves, we don't. But not we're left to ourselves. We are connected to a God who is in full control, a God who creates images, a God, not just images, a God who creates a universe like you see, and we get to serve him, and we get to love him, and he has promised to never leave us, to walk with us through this journey of life so that we can spend eternity with him, and if this is the amazing things on this earth, and these are the amazing things in this fallen universe, can you even imagine what heaven is going to be like? You can even imagine what we're going to see, what we're going to experience. Niagara Falls has nothing on heaven. This, these deep space pictures have nothing on heaven. We can't even think. We can't even imagine what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, heard what the Lord has promised to those who love him. Like, let's worship God. Let's worship him today, each day, and this Sunday as we continue to meet together. Let's join together and worship him. I hope you have a great week, everyone. Uh, we, If I don't see you before then, we will see you this Sunday uh, morning in church. Have a great day, everyone.